This quiet suburb in Luton is experiencing an unusual crime wave. One resident is stealing people's stuff. But this isn't any normal burglar. It's a cat burglar. Dennis is only a year old, but this feline kleptomaniac has been up to no good for nearly his entire life. So he's been bringing unusual items home. Items like a towel, a Fred Perry t-shirt. <laughs> he brought me a sandal, and a week later he brought me the other sandal. One of his favourites is um, some underwear. This is a lady's thong and a chicken fillet. And he brought that in? He brought that in. That so, is a bit strange. It really is different, you know, it's, it's, it's unusual and it's nice to wake up and wonder what he's brought you home today. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie's box is brimming with Dennis's booty and it's high time to reunite these items with their owners. This sounds like the perfect mystery for the One Show Catnap team to solve. So, two weeks ago we rigged Dennis up with this GPS unit. This sends us a signal that can be used to plot all of Dennis's movements on a map. We also wanted to try and capture some footage of Dennis actually getting his paws on some of the stuff. So we have this tiny camera to attach to his collar. This way we'll know whether he's pinching his swag from gardens, dustbins or even from inside people's houses. Finally, there's a CCTV camera keeping an electronic eye on all of Dennis's comings and goings through the cat flap. We've left Ellis for a week to carry about his thieving business. We've now collected all the results together to see if we can crack where he's been stealing from, starting with the GPS. What you can see is where they're all adding together. That clump is giving us a clear area there, which is about half an acre. So that's his territory. That's, that's Dennis's territory. That's his territory. Dennis is an animal that is confusing prey with toys, really, and, and going out and catching toys and bringing them back. Cats often have trouble killing immediately what they catch. So by bringing prey back to their homes, they gain the upper hand if the animal escapes. They know their territory like the back of their paw, unlike their unfortunate quarry. And this is telling us the possible places that he's more likely to be going than any else. So we can automatically say these houses in this area are our key suspect area of where he may have been taking stuff from. We still need to narrow our search, but then Dennis gives us the crucial evidence we need while the rest of the household is fast asleep. Blissfully unaware of what Dennis is up to, he returns home from one of his nighttime raids, brazenly carrying a sock. Because we know the time from the CCTV camera, it was about three in the morning. This is on that day, about three in the morning, where he went. The evidence from collar cam suggests that at least Dennis appears not to have been breaking and entering. It looks like he's just been nicking stuff from people's backyards. So there's a real chance we'll be able to reunite some of the stolen goods in this box with their rightful owners. And the only way to do that is by knocking on some doors. Leslie's joining me to track down some victims of Dennis's one cat crime wave. Nothing in there. At the first few houses, we draw a blank, but then success. Oh, hang on, this looks a bit familiar. Serious? Yes. <laughs> no luck finding the owner of the white sock, but there are a few more houses still to try. Oh, you recognise yeah, these? Yeah. Mums, yeah. They're yours. They are mine, yes. I've been looking for those. Yeah. Didn't you notice they'd gone missing? No, they were outside the back door. I didn't notice they'd gone. Case closed. Two sandals pilfered a week apart, and at the scene of the crime, we see just how far Dennis had to drag his swag. He's going to have to go across three, four fences, through at least three gardens, on a wall down the side of a garage to get to my house. The One Show catnav has banged Dennis the Menace to rights and returned some of the stolen goods back into the right hands. But if you have any cats that have escaped the long arm of the claw or any other feline mysteries, do get in touch. Thanks, Angelica. Well, we can now go live via cat cam to Dennis's favourite spot by his radio. Look, at that's cat. actually happening now. Can you believe it? It's so exciting. <laughs> Oh, honestly. A little cat nap for yeah, I wonder if this is not too exciting for the viewer. Well, that's well. the thing with it. We get right to the heart of it, Terry, straight in there. Only on the one show. No messing about.
<laughs> now, listen, but there's more. How have you course. managed to stay on the air this long? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's with content like what we're going to show you, because in the last week alone, Dennis has brought home another ten items right, oh, from the neighbours. So feast this. your eyes on this. Isn't that we have a giraffe. <laughs> it's quite big, isn't it? Yeah. But this is the best one. The pants with cats on them. Hmm. Yeah. See? Yeah, just keep them away from me. Indeed. Well, if you do live in the Luton area and recognise any of these, <laughs> including the uh, cat pants there, then do, do let us know.